So I have downloaded the new firmware onto my USB drive and put it on the root of the file of the drive. So we have 3.8 on this drive here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take the drive, we're going to put it into our US recorder USB slot right up here. And then we can go to our system control, which is right here, and we can rotate this down to update firmware. We'll go ahead and press go. And then now we will go ahead and navigate down to find the file, which is right here, DCP uh, underscore core FS 3.8. And then we will select. And then it will say update firmware and reboot console. We're going to go ahead and press yes over here. And now we're just going to wait for it to update. And once the update is finished, it will reboot your console. And so we can see that our X32 is coming up back online here. And once it's turned back on, we can go to Setup, and we can navigate to the Global tab, and we can see right here that we are on the 3.08 firmware. So it is a success. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and update the firmware on the uh, XLive card. Um, we have the new version, which is going to be A11. And we can see that we have the uh, XLive card uh, right here. It's X, U, record, and then it says A10 currently. So we're going to go ahead and update this to the A11. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and update the firmware of the XLive card. Navigate to Behringer's website and go ahead and search up here for XLive, and you can click on the XLive product. Next, you'll click on Downloads. And then once you are there, you will navigate down to the firmware, which will be in this section. Once you have it downloaded, uh, you can extract the file. Um, it's going to download as a zip file, and then you will have this folder. Go ahead and open up the folder, take this file, and drop it into the root portion of your USB drive. Now, a big important thing here is that we need to make sure that we don't have a firmware update also on the same root folder of the drive because we're going to manually um, put the X32 into an update mode, which would then first load a firmware file instead of the XLive update. So we want to go ahead and delete this or move it to a different folder. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that right now. Once we have that, we have our X live update of A11. We'll go ahead and eject the disk and then go over to the X32 and we will do the rest of it there. So now that we are at the console, we will take our USB drive and plug it into the USB recorder slot up here. Next thing we will do is power off the console by switching it off. And then we need to hold the view button down of the USB recorder section while we turn it on. Once we do that, this will put it into a manual USB uh, update mode, and then we will see that it is updating the XLive card right now. So once the update completes, it'll ask you to please switch off. So we'll go ahead and turn off the console, and then turn it back on. This time we are not gonna be holding down the view button. This will do a normal boot sequence. And then to verify that this installed correctly, we can go ahead and click on the Setup button. And down here is all of our firmware of the entire console. So we can see that we're firmware 3.08 currently for the X32. But down here, we can see the XURC. Uh, um, and we are currently on the A11, which is the most recent firmware as of uh, this time. That's how you update the card. Thank you so much.